Okay, so before I start this video, I wanted to talk to you guys real quick and just say Happy New Year to all of you. And also thank you guys so much for supporting Free Salon Education all through last year. So last year there was a lot of changes that happened with Free Salon Education. Everything was good, but it was just a lot of work. We had a new studio uh, open up. We opened a new salon, a new barbershop, a lot of new things, um, but a lot of those things weren't on video. And I also created a lot of content for a lot of different companies out there, which I'm gonna continue to do this year, but I've also made sure that I'm dedicating my time to this channel uh, as my number one priority because you guys are what Free Salon Education is all about. I really enjoy creating these videos. So you're gonna see in 2018 a lot more content. So make sure that you do subscribe to the channel so you get all of the alerts. We're also doing our live podcast again. We're doing a lot of things that we used to do um, and getting you guys more involved in everything. So happy new year to all of you guys out there. Expect a lot more posting from me and the team at FSE right here on this channel. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let's start the vlog, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. So on today's vlog, what we're gonna be going over is a medium length haircut on my model Grace, who I've had in the chair before, so you guys have seen her. But today she decided she wanted to chop her hair off. So um, we'll chop her hair off to her, not to everybody out there. So she had uh, quite a bit of length on her hair. We took it up to the shoulders. So pretty fun transformation. She has very fine hair, so I think you're gonna get a lot of tips from that. And we also did it with a razor so uh, with the Donald Scott twist. We also did it with the Donald Scott Twist razor, which is a really fun tool you can get on freesaloneducation.com. It's actually like 39 bucks. Actually, I was wrong. It's $34.95, $34.95. So go check it out. Uh, it's got a full cutting side and it's also got a 25% carving side as well, so you can texturize and you can fully cut just like a razor. It's got a nice little swivel thumb to it. And also you can use any comb you want with the razor as well. So it's just like using a standard razor, but you have a texturizing side and a full cutting side. So thank you guys so much for watching. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off by assessing Grace's hair. I wanna look at the density and the texture. So she's got a nice medium density of hair, but her fabric is very fine. So. Two products I'm gonna use. First one, Invisible Wear Volume Whip. It's a nice light whip. And then we have Donald Scott Prepare, uh, which is for our razor cutting. The thing I like about applying the product pr before the haircut is that the Prepare is, is made for razor cutting, so it's gonna help keep the hair nice and healthy. And then the Invisible Wear Volume Whip, um, it'll help saturate the product throughout the entire head uh, as I go through and cut it instead of putting it in real quick at the end and then not getting every hair saturated. So basically the sectioning for this cut is very simple. Grace wears her hair on the right hand side parting. So it's not a super deep parting, it's above the parietal ridge. So I just part it where she uh, is gonna wear it. And then I go right at the division line. So the top point of the head, the apex point of the head, down to behind the ear to split um, the front and the back of the head shape. And then I go straight down center back um, to the nape and then I draw a line from just above the occipital bone, which Grace doesn't have a very strong pronounced occipital bone area. So um, I went a little bit higher to build up a little more density in there uh, and then went right to behind the ear. Now this is the tool that we're gonna be using. This is the Donald Scott Swivel Twist. The thing I like about this tool is it has two different options. So you have the 100% cutting side and the 25% carving side. So you could just remove bulk if you want to as well. Now no matter what razor tool you choose to use for this cut, you're gonna to wanna to do the strokes the same. So we're doing nice heavy strokes with the razor. What I mean by heavy is I'm going up and down with the razor um, in about a two inch uh, space. So what that's gonna do is give me a more broken feel to my line. The thing with this haircut is I wanted to create a very shattered edge to the, the haircut. So I wanted to lay nice and soft on her shoulders and then kind of drop just a little bit below the shoulders, not too much in the end result. So that's basically what we're doing. So I started off, cut that first line, make sure everything's even, heavy strokes with the razor, that gives me that broken line. And then I start working more diagonal forward with my partings, taking about a half an inch of hair at a time and bringing it back with a nice medium elevation. So when I say medium, I'm talking like 45 degree-ish uh, coming off of the head shape. Uh, obviously 90 degrees would be straight up, so just kind of look for that happy medium. Now Grace has fine, uh, like a lower density of hair. So 
that really plays a key role in how much I'm elevating the hair and really how much or how heavy those strokes are going to be as well. So elevation, nice medium feel to it. The other forgiving thing about a razor as opposed to a scissor is that if I do a 45 degree elevation, I don't have to elevate as much because those heavy strokes of the razor give me more of a point cut um, appearance. So it takes out a lot more weight. So that's why a lot of people like razor cuts. I know especially people with a high density of hair like razor cuts because it softens the shapes as opposed to going in and cutting hard lines with a scissor. So same thing on the opposite side. Biggest difference is um, as I continue on the head, I still take those half inch sections, uh, half inch partings, but uh, everything's coming straight back, but my finger's pointing down. So, and that's really just to keep that consistency with my combing. Uh, those of you that have followed the videos for a, a long time now, we've done over a hundred videos about uh, different hand positions. So um, the hand position is down because that keeps my combing consistent, which keeps my haircut consistent as well. So I'm using the 339 comb from YS Park. I like that comb because it has nice uh, wide teeth, but they're not too wide, uh, especially when you're trying to control uh, finer fabric. So if she had thicker hair, I might go with more of a wider tooth comb, like a 336, 337, somewhere in there. But because she has finer uh, hair, I choose a little bit tighter teeth. So same thing here. You just really need to be aware when you're razor cutting or cutting hair in general that now I'm working with some of the hair from the top of the head and some of the hair is from the side of the head. So the hair that's on top of the head is going to obviously build up more weight than the hair that's on the side because the elevation is different. So I could start off with a little heavier stroke at the very beginning of my uh, section and then get a little finer with my strokes towards the bottom. Now we're connecting the front and the back. So I take my back section down, comb it down. This is a visual thing. And I go through and I'll pinch cut a little bit um, because I'm doing such a freehand feel to the haircut that as I work my way down each side, I just do those heavy strokes with the razor and then I pinch cut any pieces that I see coming out. Now I do a nice flat wrap blow dry. Um, again, we already put the product in so the Invisible Wear uh, volume whip is in there. Now. This isn't a volumized look, but it's going to be a lived-in look, and that's what I was going for. So get the blow-dry done. We use a neuro uh, palmitral iron to smooth it out. And then this is a really fun product. It's called Pump Me Up. Um, it's a powder delivery. So you spray it in the hair, um, or you pump it into the hair, and it just lifts that hair. You can see how much volume gets created and how it kind of fattens up Grace's fine hair. So it's a really cool product for that. Finish it off with a little Invisible Wear hairspray, and she is on her way. So hope you guys like this cut. I think it's definitely a salon-friendly look. Uh, easy way to make a transformation. Uh, so I'd love to see your guys' pictures on this. Make sure you tag me on Instagram, at Free Salon Education, uh, so I can see your guys' take on this cut. Definitely let me know also in the comments below what you want to see next on an upcoming video. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so that's Grace's haircut. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like this video, then make sure you like it below and hit the subscribe button and go to freesaloneducation.com if you don't own one of these cool razors and pick up a Donald Scott twist. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys real soon.